It's an ex cow. The high rock outcropping extends over the land below, affording a pleasant view of the terrain. There seems to be an entrance atop the plateau, but you have no way of reaching it from your present location. While it might be lean and it might be mean, it's just a cactus from what can be seen. These little plants are of the aloe vera variety. They're completely spineless. Don't you dare. Much like yourself. These are pretty oleander flowers. A sizable bear is causing trouble for the prairie dogs. You should do something. Okay, so long as it involves me staying over here. Chicken. I can live with that. Not a bad homage. Ow! Cut that out! Serves you right, Baldy! I had him! The bear was mine! Ow! What do you... Wait a minute, you're talking! Ah, the dim wick worms! I thought you were in danger. You thought wrong, Shorty. What did you want with the bear anyway? For your information, damn nut. Bears provide essential vitamins and minerals. But not to prairie dogs. Look who knows so much. Ow! You expect me to believe that fuzzy little critters killed bears? You want the proof? Yeah, I want the proof. You can't handle the proof. Can so? All right, theories for brains. Here's your proof. Dear, that's a bona fide beer trophy claw. Go on, take it.
Told you, can't handle the proof. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You want to apologize? Come closer! Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, give those back. They're not just a fashion statement. Proof that prairie dogs are more dangerous than you've been led to believe. You tie the bear claw securely to the end of the line. By the looks of it, these are the skeletal remains of an uncoordinated horse. A single prickly pear fruit grows on this cactus. Walt and Rudyard would be proud. Take a seat on the bar. Hi, Rita. Oh, hello, Al. 
Sorry for rushing off last night. Mm, that's understandable. I mean, it's not every day you meet Spanish royalty. Isn't that amazing? I've never met a real royal before. He's so charming, handsome, kind, gentle. Yeah, he's just great. You had a nice time? I had a wonderful time. Thank you. Perfect. Before we were interrupted last night, I was going to ask you if... if you wanted to have dinner with me. Sure. I mean, I'd understand if you did... What did you say? I say sure. Really? Antonio and I haven't made plans for tonight, so... I guess I'm free. Oh, well, that's great. Meet you at your house then? Uh, around dusk? All right. We'll ride around the town while I point out the beautiful night spots. Sounds peachy. Uh, did you say ride? Of course. You wouldn't expect me to walk around all night in high heels, would you? Uh, no, uh, not at all. So you'll be wanting a horse then? Something along that line. Listen, I got to get back to work. See you tonight. Yeah, until then. Oh, crap. Try that, and the number of unbroken bones in your body may rapidly decline. Hey, Bubba. Not you again. I need to buy a horse. I ain't selling you no horse. I'd be arrested for inflicting cruelty to an animal. Gee, thanks. Uh, can I at least rent one? Sure, if you can prove yourself. Like a test? Kinda. I ask you some questions. Your responses will determine what steed you get. No problem. I've got my eyes on that stallion over there. First question. If I said that you aren't wearing the right shoes, you'd say... They're color coordinated to the desert scenes. Second question. Have you ever used a gun? Every darn day, those desert varmints. Then there's the animals. Third question. When calling for your horse, you'd say... Hey, ho, Silver! Away! Thank you. Did I pass? Huh? Oh, the test. Nah, I just wanted to see if you'd go through all that baloney. I've already decided what to give you. Remember, I want it back in the same condition, or better. Okay. You pay for all mileage-related expenses. No problem. And if you have an accident during transit, it's your insurance that covers the damages. How much? Five bucks. Here's your money. Can I have the horse now, please? Huh. Yeah. I'll get your animal. Prince Antonio, your steed is ready, just as you asked. I hope he's to your liking. Thank you. Regarding the fee... Don't worry about that, your highness. Just enjoy your evening.
Again, thank you. <laughs> Why, that's a fine... Mule? Oh... What did you expect? You think you're man enough to ride a horse? Now listen, this poor stinking shade of an animal ain't been functioning too well. It's too darn old to bother with getting it serviced. What's wrong with it exactly? Constipation and sudden bouts of acute diarrhea. Aren't they mutually exclusive? Not for this tub of turd. To tell the truth, I don't know how long he'll last. If he does conk out on you, have the decency to bury him. At your own expense, of course. Right. What about food and water? No need. All my animals have been genetically manipulated to last for extended periods without either. Besides, I wouldn't want to put anything into this beast's stomach. You got me? Oh yeah, I got you. Thanks. Move it! Come on, Muley! Let's ride! Hey, I'm talking to you! Giddy up! He won't budge. All right, now I know how to make him walk. Well, I guess this is it. The big date. Are you hoping? You throw the bone to the snarling dog. He catches it in his mouth and appears to lose interest in eating you. He runs off around the back of the house.
I'll be right down. I didn't know that I could not last the day without the sight of you. It is true. I was expecting. Alas, this town could not provide a carriage, so my own speed will have to suffice. Shall we go? It is said that a man and his horse are two of a kind. As you can see, mine is a stallion. Good morning, lad. Not really. What would be the problem? In a word, Antonio. Still a thorn in your side? Among other places. Whenever I'm getting somewhere with Rita, he appears and upstages me. How am I supposed to compete with him? Tell me something. This chasing Rita business. Are you on the level? Couldn't be more so. Well, that might be more than what Antonio could say. I don't understand. Call it bartender's instinct, but there's something about the guy. Something that don't be ringing the right tune. Maybe he's tone deaf. Hmm. Or maybe it's something else. Probably nothing. By the way, you'll be wanting a bath. All that wandering round's made you a touch fragrant. But there's no bathing room in town. You might try the Oasis. Ain't no charge if you can find it. Thanks, Kevin. Any time, lad. You so Hiya, I'm Pammy Sanderson. I'm, like, the lifeguard at this here oasis. Did you come for a swim? The water's really warm today. Shallow pool, middle of the desert, brilliant deduction. I'm Al, Al Lamo. I'm not really into swimming. Or running, jogging, climbing, hiking, riding, sailing, boxing. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I came to wash up, but I didn't know I'd have company. Don't worry. I'll keep a close eye on you while you skinny dip. Uh, <laughs> maybe later. The attractive blonde woman wears a skin-tight bathing suit and keeps constant vigil over the oasis waters. She has a severe case of sunburn. How long have you been a lifeguard, Pammy? Not long. I left the Heifer Mansion only, like, just yesterday. Why did you quit? Long hours, low pay. But mostly because of this new client. He was, like, real awful. Can't remember his name, but he was tall and wore, like, all black. Except for a funny red necktie. Really? Anything else you can tell me about him? I'd rather not talk about him, like, at all. The sun's making me uncomfortable enough as it is. Sounds like you've been out in the sun too long. It's one of those 
occupational habits. Hazards. Exactly. I would have used sunscreen, but I can't risk going back into town. Someone could, like, drown while I'm away, and I just couldn't bring myself to be that selfish. That's a noble sentiment. Not the most realistic or intelligent, but noble. If I throw myself into that ankle-deep pool and splash around like I'm drowning, will you come and rescue me? That's what I'm here for. Mouth to mouth? Absolutely. Oh, boy! Do you sell sunscreen? Fifteen or thirty plus. Thirty? No. Fifteen, then? No. Uh, so you don't actually sell any? No. Thanks for that. I am completely out of stock. Why doesn't that surprise me? But I could make more sunscreen for you. Right. Could we have got to that eleven lines ago? First bring me some aloe vera, then I make you sunscreen. Uh, got it. Here's your aloe vera. Very good. Three dollars, please. I thought you just needed the aloe vera. To make it, yes. Also need money for necessary capital exchange. But I went out into the desert just to find you that plant. I could always keep sunscreen for another customer. Oh, fine. Here you go. Here you go. That was quick. It's almost as if you had a spare bottle just lying around. You have good imagination. <laughs> Enjoy your sunscreen. I've got your sunscreen, Miss Sanderson. You're such a sweetie, Al. Would you mind doing me? You've been waiting 30 years to hear that. Sure, Pammy. Uh, uh, just uh, lie down, please. Sunscreen smells terrible. Like that man from the general store. Coco? He smelled fine to me. Not when he's sweating. It's awful. I guess I'll go find some perfume to put in it. No, don't use anything that's not, like, completely natural. Wouldn't dream of it. Excuse me, Mayor? Oh, it's, um... The name's... Correct. What can I do for you? Can you tell me the best natural way of making something smell better? I was thinking of a flower, or... Nah, what you want are the leaves from the creosote bush, or creosote lara tridentate. They should be in bloom about now. Indians use them as an antiseptic and emetic. Go figure. 
they got these tiny yellow flowers, which are more pungent after a rain. Shouldn't be hard to find for a short man with glasses. Couldn't have said it better. You fill your flask with water. A faint fragrance surrounds the yellow flowered bush. The faint fragrance rubs onto your hands. The faint fragrance. You pour water over the flowers. A stronger aroma begins to emanate from the bush. There, naturally fragrant sunscreen. my skin. It's got hairs and leaves in it. Coco did make it quickly. He rushes everything. Can you find something to make it smoother? I'll see what I can do. This is proving harder than I thought. A multitude of melons is piled here. What are you doing? Uh... I'm just admiring your melons. They're nice, ain't they? You bet. <laughs> Did you say they were yours? Of course. It gets hot out here. In fact, I'm thinking about eating one soon. Do you mind if I grab one? I'd love to help you out. But I can't let you handle my melons.
It's not so smooth to avoid paying up. It's a dispenser. A sign on it reads, the longer lasting lubricant. Great for all body types, parts, and lengths. You insert a dollar coin. Wait as the machine goes and watch it deposit a small quantity of lubricant into the tray. I can't take it. Smooth sunscreen, not bad. Screens running down my sides. Guess I used too much lubricant. I've made that mistake before. I'll try making it thicker. Thick and goopy, just the way Tammy likes it. The sunscreen's advisory label recommends the same procedures as commonly used by the hospitality house. Slip, slop, slap. Feels like so good. So you were telling me about that horrible guy at the Heifer Mansion. Oh, him. Arrived two days ago. Awful guy. Treated us like he could buy our time. He spends most of the day like stinking up his room, ordering us girls around, and exposing his huge plans. Not what you'd expect from a prince. A prince? He's common enough, let me tell you. So, Antonio's not royalty after all. I think I'll pay our princely pal a visit at the Heifer Mansion. Say, Pammy, suppose I had this friend, and she had a friend. Uh-huh. And she knew someone whose sister's cousin might be interested in working at Lou's. You know, Al, I used to put in, like... A lot of extra hours for the boss. Must have been hard. He was. Anyway, I'm sure Lou would, like, be happy to see your friend's friend's acquaintance's sister's cousin. Just tell her to say Pammy sent me. Lou will have her. He might even give her a job. Ooh, that's nice. I'm, like, so relaxing. I'm really in the mood. Oh? To get some... Oh! Shut I? Oh... Reminds me of a date I had once when I was 16. She fell asleep right after dinner. Aren't you neglecting a few details? Uh, like what? 
that you'd been discussing the finer points of collecting bottle caps. So, everyone has a hobby. That the girl was your babysitter. Minor detail. And that you took the next 15 years to sort out your preferences. I'm beginning to dislike narrators. Yeah? Pammy sent me. Step into my office. What are you after, boy? Either you're seeing triple, or these three are part of Lou's rent two, get one free deal. Lou Heffer manages the hospitality house. His air of casual authority is well earned, with every male in town owing him for past unpaid pleasures. Lou. I'm after a job. Hand will cost you five dollars. That's not what I meant. Right, hand will be. You don't understand. I think I do. A whole job will send you back. Stop, please. I'm asking if I can have a job. You know, uh, work for you? Hmm, we are short of staff, especially now Pammy's left. Uh, so is that a yes? Look, personally, I don't care, but the customers, they prefer their women more female-like. Oh. On the other hand, you don't look all that masculine either. Tell you what, as long as you can fool the guys and they're happy, then sure, you can work here. You mean I have to dress up as a woman? Sure, ain't no big deal. The rooms are all softly lit. The clients can't hardly see nothing. As long as you got yourself a dress, a decent hairdo, some makeup, and the right equipment up top, it shouldn't be a problem. And you might want to keep it tucked under, just in case. Mind if I grab your melons, Pammy? Of course. It's like the least I can do for the sunscreen. Make sure you get a good grip on them. Yes, ma'am. You take two of the roundest melons you can find.
You flip through the magazine's pages and notice an advertisement for a free sample of cosmetic makeup. It has a postage page stamp affixed and is ready to be sent out. You tear out the page. Hi. Yeah, you look it. I'm Alamo. Was that supposed to be funny? No, it's my name. That's too bad. And you are? Rick Springer the Eighth. Wow. You should be impressed, loser. Having a bad day? No, I was having a great day till you walked in. I'd almost cracked the Federal Misinformation Database, but now you've interrupted me. Oh, well, sorry. You can apologize by leaving. Do you get out much? Why would I want to? I have everything I need right here. All I see is a telegraph machine and some highly technical nerdy magazines. Those nerdy magazines are the most intellectually riveting subject you could imagine. Cryptography. Cryptography? Isn't that something to do with tombs? That's cryptology, you half-witted four-eyed cretin. Cryptography is the science of codes. Oh. Figures. You don't look very clever, just like the rest of this uncouth, imbecilic population. With an attitude like that, I'd be surprised if you had any friends at all. I don't need friends. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. I'll have you know that this nerd will one day invent a cryptographic machine so brilliant, I'll be able to decipher any given code within a matter of seconds. I'll call it Cryptomax. With it, I'll climb the rungs of the Federal United Post Cryptography Department. What would I need with friends when I'm filthy rich? I suppose you have a point. Of course I do. Never argue with someone ten times smarter than the average human being. Or a hundred times in present company. You must see a lot of mail come through here. I hope you didn't burn too many brain cells up on that one. You'd know a lot about what goes on around here. Are you suggesting that I look through people's mail? That's an offense. Not at all, but a clever guy like you wouldn't miss much. I don't miss anything. Of course not. I bet you know tons about everyone in town. You got that right. You'd even have something on the mayor. Yeah, like his subscription to Mails for Men Monthly Magazine. Exactly. I know stuff about everyone in this town. All that knowledge. I just wouldn't be able to keep up with you. You're learning your place at last. Good. We all have to do that, Rick. Each and every one of us. Hey, Rick, would you like a banana? Yeah, I like... Hey! Of course you like bananas. Don't say it! Because you're a real monkey boy. Get out! So, Rick, how do you like your first job? First job? This will be my only job. After this, I'll become excruciatingly wealthy. You'll see. Yeah, just remember, Bubba likes his shoes shined with that extra bit of spit. Get out! Tell me, Rick, do you think that money can buy you... Ha it can buy... Even... Once I can afford a makeover... Why are you showing me that? This ad offers a great range of skin care solutions. They'd be particularly good for someone of your uh, complexion. I hate you! It was a joke, kid. Sort of. Anyway, would you mind mailing this out for me? Oh, if it'll get you out of my sight faster. Thanks. You'd better be thankful. I could easily let the entire town know about your fetish for women's makeup. Here's your stupid letter. Don't expect me to do any more of your menial footwork, you peon. Now go put it in the postal slot and leave me alone. Hopefully my package will arrive before the next train.
you, Alamo. Yeah? I'm from FedUp, the Federal United Post. Here's your package. Hey, you could have broken that. You forgot to pay for postage and handling. You're lucky it's wrapped, Miss M.O. You unwrap the package. It's the makeup kit you've always wanted. Hey! Move along, son. Don't want to hold up the line. Hi again. Oh, hello. I've been meaning to ask you, are you still, you know, technically male? I'm not male. I was just born that way. That explains your big... What can I say? Size does matter. Even if mine was big, I bet my voice would still be squeaky. Don't worry, hon. There's more to a man than his Adam's apple. Uh. Talking to yourself. Is something wrong? I'm a failure. No, you're not. I didn't mean offense back at the saloon. It's just that men aren't my thing. That's what they all say, but I'm still a failure. I've been peddling my wares for weeks, and the only business I've been getting is from the me- Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm through with this line of work. Have you tried the hospitality house? They won't let me in. Even with my glamorous outfit, stunning wig, cosmetic skill, and the most expensive silicone, I'm just not womanly enough. They say that inside every man is a woman screaming to get out. Oh, you're a dear, but I've just got to face facts. In this competitive industry, a sensitive soul like myself has no place. I don't cut it as a drag queen. Uh, sometimes I wonder if I should ever have left my first job. What was it? Hairdresser? Beautician? Fashion designer? Construction worker. But I don't have any tools. Why, thank you, darling. This is just what I need to get me started. Guess I won't be needing this old thing anymore. See ya, hon. You ask yourself the W.I.G. question every time you glance in the mirror at your dangerously receding hairline. Where'd it go? A pity they're not a j Lick Just walk there. Can I help you, madam? Lou, it's me, Al. Step into my office. Uh, how do I look? 
Like a ravaged drag queen who's been run over by a carriage. You'll do fine for who you're for. Speaking of which, your first job's in room three. Here's the key. The guy's been waiting for hours. None of my real girls will go near him. I hope he's not in a bad mood. He'll be in the mood, so long as you put on and put out. Don't disappoint now. Go get him, tigress. Ow! Oh, look, we're coming up on halftime. If you don't mind, I think I'll take my coffee break now. What? See ya. Oh, great. It's about time. Get to work, girl. I want the whole job this time. Don't go skipping spots like those other tramps have been doing. Creep. I couldn't do that without Antonio. I wish Antonio's clothes were still on his body, and that going through them was completely optional. Hmm, yeah, that's right. All the way along, right to the end. That's it. Ah, work that small thing, baby. Work it. Oh, yeah. Now rub the tip. Ooh. <laughs> Move on to the next one. Ah, leave the big toe until last. Don't stop now, woman. I paid good money for this. You're so strong, handsome, and mysterious. I know. Run your hands through my hair. You're wealthy, too. I've always wanted to have lots of money. It's easy when you know where to look and who to spend your time with. Need my earlobes. Shucks, you mean Lil O me? Don't flatter yourself. Rub my neck. Rita is the pretty means to a perfect end. Rita, why you shrew devil you? You must have big ambitions. Of course. Does this excite you, Wench? Oh, yes. Then you'll get a real bang when I build my empire. Stroke my shoulders. An empire? You'll need lots of Italians for that. You dumb girl! When they handed out brains, I bet yours came out in a shot glass. Fondle my chest. Oh, tell me more. Imagine thousands of imbecilic broads working for a pittance across the vast chain of hospitality houses. Ah, the smell of slavery and sweat. And that's only the beginning. Next will come the merchandising, my likeness on every underwear and contraceptive. My body parts molded for everyday use. There won't be a soul who doesn't wear me, or possess a piece of me. That's sick. Simply brilliant. Yes, it's time. Not again. You want another toe massage? No, something better. It's time to get you off. Oh gosh, no! My bed. I'm going to sleep. I don't want to see your ugly mug when I wake up. A 
I wonder how Rita... Hmm, what's this? A little ID might shed light on things. Aha! Gotcha! Andretto? Congratulations, Al! You've earned your womanhood. Oh, you're back. All done? Yeah, and thanks a lot for bailing out on me. Real supportive. I'm not into the menage a trois thing. Besides, I figured you two needed some privacy. Whatever. You're back in one piece, boy? Yeah, you sound surprised. Oh, never mind me, I'm just the inquisitive type. Stump into my office. Thanks for the job. I'm out of here. Leaving so soon? Well, you did manage our most difficult customer. I'm grateful. About the money. Well, times are tough, you know. <laughs> like our clientele, even when they're not. They're hard. Look, boy, personally, I'd love to pay you. You know I would, but I've got a family to feed. A huge family with a long line. It's even bigger when extended. So I want you to have this instead, a souvenir to remember the Heifer Hospitality House by. An inflatable doll? Of me. The best one I've ever had. Make no mistake about it. He's got scores of them. And he scored with them all. <laughs> Take care now. What a letdown. with a bulge like that. Rita, I have something to show you. What's this? I hate to tell you this, Rita, but it looks like Antonio is a fraud. I don't understand. Where did you get this? Would you believe the hospitality house? Apparently, our prince partakes of more than just the sights. Andretto Bonaboon? A gardener from Tijuana? How could he? How could I? How did you get that evidence, Ammo? Who are you? I'm the sheriff. And you're avoiding a question. Through a lot of stealth and, um, cunning. Ha! Huh. I've heard of going undercover, Ammo, but you take the cake. It wasn't like that. Not exactly. Now I know why they're dim the lights. <laughs> Rita, are you okay? I will be, but if I ever see him again... There you are, my sweet. I have done nothing this day save yearn for a, another night in your presence. How about a night in mine? <laughs> Such parochial humor. He meshes your credentials. I beg your pardon? How's your garden growing, Andy? 
What do you mean? Forgotten your little patch of Tijuana? Too busy sowing your seeds? Sprouted any empires yet? <gasps> it was you! I knew it! I, I, I can explain. Of course. Sheriff, would you mind taking his statement? As soon as he's in irons. I've done nothing wrong. You can't arrest me. I know the law. I am the law. And right now there's a jail cell with your name on it. If you get lonely, I'm sure Emmo can drag himself on over. Hey! You are making a mistake. All of you. I can't believe I fell for that con artist. It was too good to be true. If it wasn't for you, Al... I'm just glad I could help. Uh, Rita, this may not be the best time to ask, but may I have the honor of... Indian raid! No one go outside! Where's Antonio? Caught away, but don't worry. If they don't get him, the desert will. I came back to tell you, Miss Peralto. They're passing by your house this time. My father's things. No! Wait, it's not safe, Miss Peralto. outside seems to have stopped. I should check to see if Rita's okay. Sure, now that it's safe. You're so brave. Oh, be quiet. Wait until you have his attention. Wait until... Did you hear about the raid on the town? I surely did, lad. It was a true spectacle, to be sure. The town don't see a lot of action, and this beats paying for entertainers. Only trouble is, the Indians keep to their own schedule, so you have to stay sharp to catch them. What do you think happened to Antonio? Probably perished out in the desert. Watch where you're threading next time, air out. Hey, Kevin, I bet you've heard... You're asking where... Oh. Maybe there's a couple of things I've been... Of course. Now this is his room. Now it could... I'm so... It'll be... Ew. Like a... The annual... 